Well, um, hello, it's been a long time um, recording videos. Um, I don't know why that is. I think I've just been in a bit of a bit of a funk. Uh, if you see my uh, videos on the um, on the litter around, I'm just just getting a bit down with all that stuff. Um, the environment, and then I don't know. I just want to get out cycle touring again, I suppose. But uh, to pick me out of that funk, I've got some good videos for you. Um, so there's three in the pipeline. Um, the first one I'm going to do is building up this hardtail. Now I'll come onto that in more detail later um, because that's one we're going to start with. Um, the second one is I've converted my Tutoran scrambler. So that's my partners with the drop bars and converted mine to flat bars. So um, my partner, she really likes a flat bar as well. So I'm gonna do the same to hers and I'm gonna talk you through how I did that. It's really simple. It took, takes about half an hour, something like that. And if you're wondering what parts you need for that, there's only three parts. You just need the shifter, and I'll go into part number specifics when we do that video, but you just need the gearbox cover and just this part here that just has the, an internal change um, from what sync put on, from what Tutoran put on. So that's it there in all its glory. And another reason why I wanted to do it, there's nothing wrong with the sync shifters. It's just the benefit of that gearbox. You know, it just works perfectly with a twist shifter because you can go from 12 to one without even um, flinching. Whereas with the sync, it's gears of about three, I think, at a time. Um, and I just really like that twist shifter. It's, um, it's really good for touring, really good for mountain biking purposes. So, um, yeah, so that's that's the, uh, the another video after I've done this hard tail. And then the um, third video is I'm going to be building up, and I'll show you a picture of that now, a Black Mountain Le Cabra frame. So you might know that I've got a Black Mountain road frame and really like Black Mountain, Mike Valley knows his stuff, been in the industry uh, years and years and years, and he puts together a really nice frame that is um, very great value for money. So that's arriving probably about next week is that frame. Okay then, okay then, back to this hardtail. So I need to stop doing this because I'm meant to be putting money away for retirement so I can get out of my teaching job and get cycling around the world. So you might be wondering if that's the plan, why have I gone ahead and bought another couple of frames? And the reason is I have all these parts. Now you might be thinking, well, Dylan, if that's your plan, sell the parts. But I just can't bear to part with them. Um, some of them are high value that I wouldn't get the uh, the value back for if I put them on eBay, such as these forks. Now these forks have only done 200, 200 miles, but I use them on a bike packing trip and where the bag's rubbed, they've rubbed all over these places here. So people are not gonna go, well, they've done only done 200 odd miles. So I'd lose quite a bit of money on those. I've got some wheels upstairs that, um, again, I haven't done that many miles, but people wouldn't give me what I think they need. So let me just talk through all these parts and you'll see why I'm gonna build this up and the Le Cabra frame. So, just some brake cables and stuff there just uh, I have lying around anyway. I've got uh, these forks that are gonna go on that frame, there's a bottom bracket there that's for um, a road bike, so that's not gonna get used at the moment. Then you've got the pinion stuff here that's gonna be used on the, um, 
on the conversion for my partner's bike. I've got this chrome seat post here, which again is not going to be used, but brand new. A couple of saddles. Um, I put some smaller rings on the two terrains, so I've got some of those. Those have been on eBay a few times, but haven't sold. Got some ESI grips, which I might put on this um, hard tail. Um, got this headset, so that's going to go on the hard tail. Got this seat clamp, that's for the hard tail. I've got this seat clamp here, which is going to go on the Le Cabra. Some chrome headset, headset spaces for the Le Cabra. Now I'll talk about the bars. This is my collection of bars. So, this uh, stem with these um, spaces, I can't remember what spaces, shims, and this lovely um, Nito chrome bar is going to go on the Le Cabra. I've got this handlebar here, which is a really nice um, bar, but no purpose for that, so that might go any way. Then I've got the gravel bars and shifters that I t and the sink shifters that I took off the uh, the two Turan. Then I've got these surly truck trucker truck stop trucker bars, which are um, a drop bar, a bit of flare, and a riser. And then I've got these carbon Santa Cruz bars which have a 35 mil what clamp and I had these on my Santa Cruz tall boy and I came off my tall boy in quite a drastic fashion and the bar got um, scratched so again I've used this bar for a couple of years and it is solid I've had bags hanging off it and everything there's nothing structurally wrong with this bar it's just the um, the finish has come off but again if I was to try and put that on eBay and try and explain that it's just the finish these are structurally sound bars then no one's gonna trust them because and rightly so you know I'd be the same so again I'm not gonna get the full-on money for those bars so that's why they are going on that hardtail. Um, I've got this Shimano cassette here, something like 10 to 51 or 52, I can't remember, micro spline. I've got this chain here. Now this chain is going to go on the Le Cabra along with this cassette, I believe. I've got a, a Cane Creek headset here, which is a um, straight headset. So that's no use for no one. So that's going to just stay at the moment. I'll talk through what's going to happen with that later on. I've got a collection of stems here. So um, this one is going to go on the, which is the bigger clamp, that one. That one's going to go on this hardtail with those Santa Cruz bars. And then I've already got the stem for the Le Cabra. So I've got a couple of stems left over. I'll talk through what I might do with those later. I've got this headset, uh, sorry, not headset, bottom bracket. It's not a dub, even though it's in a dub box. It's just the standard mountain bike screwing headset, Shimano. So again, that's gonna go on that um, frame there. Then I have this absolutely amazing, I'm just gonna put, I'm just going to put this down to show you this. If you haven't um, heard of MicroShift, then please check them out because they have brilliant shifting alternatives. So what I mean by that is I've got this 12-speed SRAM index um, shifter for the bar ends of a drop handlebar. But the beauty of this, they do one for Shimano 12 speed as well, and they have all the different other combinations as well. One by 10, two by 10, two by eight, three by, whatever you, you want. But the br brilliant thing about this is, you can also use it with any derailleur because you just turn this lever here. You can see that it also goes in friction mode as well. So you can see there, friction mode 
and then 12 speed index mode. And the beauty of this is, if you go on to Paul Components, they have some clamps, so you can unscrew the Allen key and sit it on another clamp and you've got a 12 speed thumb shifter just by buying an extra part. Let's say they have different solutions, uh, situations, and that is just a nice bit of kit. So that is going on the Le Cabra. Then I have these Hope brakes. So these are gonna go on this bike, this hard tail. I've got a Sunrace cassette, Now I'll talk through what that might go on later. Shimano 12 speed shifter for this bike. I've got some Avid, um, what are they, D BB7s, that's for the Le Cabra frame. I've got this SRAM Mech 12 speed, that's for the Le Cabra frame. And then we've got this, what is this? 10 to 45. I think they might have ticked this box wrong because I, ordered, I didn't order a 10 to 45. And that's definitely a 10 to 51 in there because I've had it out of the box. So I'll um, be putting that on this hard tail. Then I've got the crank for the hard tail. And then we've got some dropper posts for the hard tail. Now this was marketed as cube. So, you know, they make stuff for all sorts of brands. And so that is a cube dropper post. And then on the Le Cabra, I'm going to be putting on this, what is this? Crank Brothers dropper post. And um, what else is there left? Oh, yes. The KS um, dropper post remote for this, but for drop bars. So you can see I've got lots and lots of parts there that need using up. And they are all going to go on there and on the uh, Le Cabra that's coming. Now, you might be thinking, well, then, Dylan, what are you going to be doing with that Sunrace cassette that you mentioned, that Cane Creek headset, the other stem there? What am I going to put those on? Hmm. And this seat post here, I'll have to check if that will fit it, but there is a... Um, uh, Black Mountain Road Plus bike coming soon, I think, as well. So, and then I've got all these tyres that I either need to go on T-Bay and uh, or get used. It's 27.5, uh, 650B and 700C and a couple of 29er tyres in there as well. So, that's everything that we need to sort out. Lots to do over the next few weeks. So as you can see, lots to do over the next few weeks. It's gonna keep me busy, gonna keep the head sane, and uh, lots of riding to be done as well. I'm really looking forward to getting that Lacabra frame built up and seeing where that can take me. Um, this hardtail frame, it's a size small. So I got that for my partner because she, um, I'll tell you a little story about this. So we, um, I've been going out with my partner now about seven years, maybe seven years last October. And um, she'd never ridden a bike. Um, as an adult, last time she rode a bike she was a child and the first bike ride she did was coast to coast uh, as an adult, was coast to coast in England, I took her on that tour there the, um, I believe the second bike ride she did, because she doesn't ride that often in between, and she didn't at that time as well, because we were just starting to go out um, the second bike ride she did we rode back from Spain, we got the ferry down to Bilbao and rode across the top of Spain, and then we followed the, um, the uh, Villodice route all the way up the west coast of France. Absolutely brilliant. We took her um, daughter, and she must have been about six or seven at the time, so I had, I had a tandem with a trailer, and uh, Rachel used my Cannondale Cadex cross bike, and we had a blast. That was a, a really good trip. 
Although I did think that um, her daughter would spend a lot of the time on the back of the tandem and then a little bit of time in the trailer, but it was the other way around. She probably spent 10 minutes on the back of the bike and most of the time in the trailer. So I spent that whole trip um, riding um, with a passenger in a trailer, but that was good. So we cycled all the way back to England from Spain. So that was her second time on a bike. And then her third time on a bike was either Finland or Black uh, Green Mountain Tour in Vermont. I can't remember which way around we did it. And then um, we did the River Danube and we did Finland. And I can't remember which order we did those in. The years just all blend together. But um, yeah, mainly her cycling is done just on our cycling holidays. And she does like to get out on a little tutel on the tutoran around the local trails around here and um, really enjoys that. But what I'm hoping to do with this hardtail is really get her into mountain biking because mountain biking is my passion. Mountain biking is what I've done um, since being a kid, um, since being 12 years old when I got my first, well, I've been 12 then. Something like that when I got my first uh, specialised rock copper. Uh, then I progressed to a Kona Cindercone, the metallic gold one, absolutely gorgeous. And uh, yeah, so mountain biking's been my passion. And I only got into road, I only bought my first road bike when I was in my 30s. And I'm glad that was a quick experiment because off road is where it's at, either with bags or without bags off-road is where it's at. So what I'm wanting to do with this, with, the, with hopefully with the suspension forks, is get Rachel's confidence up, get her going down some rougher stuff, get her moving her body around the bike and really enjoying it. And I can go out on the La Cabra and uh, do similar things. So that's the plan behind this and the La Cabra. <laughs> 